Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Kyle Chronicles, and this is episode 2 of my Smarter Sex Stuff series. If you've missed the introduction and first episode, uh, it'll be in the same playlist as this. And last time I talked about consent, which is really the basis of all sex stuff, so make sure you go watch that. And today I'm going to be talking all about the vagina. Oh, and disclaimer, this is in, uh, this is just going to be facts about people who are born with vaginas because I realize there are surgeries where you can get one, but that might be another video I make in the future, and I don't know how much it differs from, like, natural vaginas. And I know in health uh, education classes at school, you guys learn kind of the basics about it, which is why I'm not going to talk too much about anatomy. I'll leave a link or a few links in the description uh, with diagrams and stuff so you guys can check that out yourselves. Uh, I'm more going to be talking about some just facts you might not know in regards to the vagina. So, uh, first, it comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors, much like people. It's very complex, okay? Vaginas are awesome. So if you have one, go look at a mirror and just be like, you're awesome, thank you. Okay. I know in high school there's a lot of rumors that the more sex you have, the looser you're gonna get. Well, it's not true. When actually properly aroused, the vagina can stretch up to two times its size, so like 200% bigger than it was when it began. I mean, a dick isn't gonna stretch you out because you are made to push a human out of you. So fuck the fuck boys who say you're gonna get loose from sleeping around. Another thing is it also self-lubricates when you are aroused. So your first time really shouldn't hurt if you guys are doing everything properly. If whatever is being inserted into your vagina is hurting you, stop, do some more foreplay, or get, get lube of your own because lube's always your friend, even though you have your own, okay? Along with all these, like, things that it can do, it's self-cleaning, so, like, don't douche. It's actually really bad for you, because it messes with the pH and just everything down there. It's like its own ecosystem, but no animals. <laughs> and, uh, the natural pH is anywhere between 3.8 to 4.5. I don't think you can test, like, your own pH, but just be careful when you're cleaning down there. Uh, try to stick to the more natural end of like soaps and stuff because really all you need is a little water and you're good. Discharge is completely normal. Now if you don't know what that is, um, sometimes in your underwear you get like some white or clear stuff. Don't worry, that's just discharge. That's part of your vagina doing its cleaning thing. It's fine, it's completely normal. Um, it tends to get more clear the closer you are to your period. The only time you should be concerned is if it's super thick and, you know, discolored, like more on the brown side of things, then you should go to a doctor and discuss it with them. Could be normal, but you don't want to take, take a chance with, with your V. And I know you learn about periods in school also, um, but in case you kind of missed that or didn't get the chance to learn that, I will also leave links down below talking about that. But, uh, I know it feels like you lose a lot of blood because you wake up and it's like... Whoosh, but you only actually lose two tablespoons, two tablespoons to half a cup of blood. It just seems like a lot more because you're literally shedding the lining of, of, of your uterus. So it's not just blood, it's like... Inside stuff, you know? Um, also, during your period, try to... Uh, consume more iron than you usually would because your iron can get really low which is also why you feel more like tired and sluggish and if you have an iron deficiency naturally you'll notice it even more during that what magical week yay uh this is just a random thing i found but there are over a thousand confirmed names for your vagina yeah not all of them are nice, some of them are really gross sounding, um, but in case you don't want to call it a vagina, you have a selection out there. I know another thing in school that boys like to say is, oh, you can tell a girl's dirty when it smells like fish. Oh, ha, ha, ha. No, D ignore them. Vaginas have like a billion different smells, and it's completely fine. It's affected by the clothing you wear, what you eat, what you don't eat, what you use to wash. 
and you know, etc, etc, etc. There are like a billion different factors that go into it. The only time you should be worried if it's, is if it like smells like really pungent fish because typically that only happens if you have bacterial vaginosis or BV and that's an infection that's actually super common and is really easy to get rid of. So just beware of your smell, like be aware of it. Another thing, I know people sometimes have a hard time pleasing and arousing the downstairs, but an easy thing to, for, to tell your partner or partners to do is the clitoris, which if you checked out the diagrams is basically at the top of the vagina. And I say this because it has twice as many nerve endings as a penis, which actually adds up to about 8,000 in that tiny little thing. So make sure your partner or partners are aware of that, but if it starts to hurt you when they're, you know, ringing the, the doorbell, tell them to slow down because obviously that much nerve endings in one spot can hurt after a while. And finally, you can get pimples and ingrown hair down there. So if you see a few red spots, don't think you have like an incurable STI or something. It could be an ingrown hair. I'm guessing we all know what those look like, and it could be a pimple, it's completely normal. But if you are concerned, go get checked, because obviously it's better to be safer than sorry. So just, just be safe, be aware of the smells and everything of your lower area. Next episode in this series, I'll be talking all about the penis, so whether you have one or you don't and you just want to learn more about it, make sure to check out that video, it'll also be in the same playlist as this as will all smarter sex stuff videos, yeah. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any other like tips or tricks or whatever that you've learned about the vagina, feel free to leave a link in the description, or not in the description, that's where, that's where I put stuff. Link in the comments or you know like just type it out yourself. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Bye!